Hey, what's going on everybody? This is David M. with a quick tutorial on how to make Creatomate actually dance with you, how to make it bend to your will and produce videos that are exactly the length that you need. I know a lot of people have been asking this question and there has been there have been some solutions posted but this one is really easy because it doesn't require any additional code nodes it doesn't require any additional nodes at all it's all here in creatomate the devil sits in the detail the devil is in the settings so as you can see here this is a simple template that has the voiceover or let's say it's the music file whatever you want to put here is your main file and notice this here at the end it says media this refers to the duration of this file when you type in the word media or set it to media it simply takes the duration of that file and determines the length of the whole video by the duration of this file whether you want to make your video fit the length of your music or your voiceover or any other media file that you want to be the determining file of the length of the video this is it you set this to media then you have the subtitles which should be set to auto always because this is simply your subtitle track uh, where you go here and then uh, figure out what you want to the subtitles to look like anyway this uh, should be set to auto by default if it's not uh, make sure you go here and set the duration to auto. And then you have your music. I'm using music in my videos. And this should also be set to auto. Uh, so just make sure that track you're using is longer than whatever uh, length of videos you're making ever so that it always uh, can be adjusted automatically to this media file and it's never too short. Um, and then make sure both of these values here, where it starts and where it ends, are set to auto. And then you have these four images here. This is image number one. This is image number two. This is image number three. And this is image number four. You can see previews. And here is where the real trick comes into play that you have to pay attention. And maybe you have already noticed this. Look at the duration of these files. It's set to percent. So if you have four files and you set each of them to 25%, they will always fit this uh, part of the video. So let's say, um, let's say you add another image file here and you set this to 50% of the entire video. That's what happens to it. It will always be just exactly half of your video. I'm going to get rid of this one because I don't want to mess up my template. But each of these has to be set to a percentage instead of actual number for the duration. Uh, when you start moving these files around, see that this changes immediately. The duration will stay at percentage value, but this just changed. So be careful because when you move these files around, they don't always go back to auto. Make sure wherever you do with them that the starting time is set to auto and the duration is set to the percentage. So if you have two files for the whole video, obviously each will be 50% and so on and so on. You can do the calculation. Uh, last thing you have to do is right click on this little thing here and make sure this is also set to duration auto. When you have all these things set, uh, only one file set to media, every other file is set to auto and duration, either auto or percentage of the entire track, then all you have to do to automatically adjust the length of this video is uh, plug in the template into your N8N node where you drop the files. So I'm going to show you now how this automatically adjusts. So look at this voiceover track. Right now it is 60-something seconds, right? 
I'm just going to pick a different one. And I'm going to open it and look what happened. Did you see what happened? Everything adjusted automatically. All these files are still 25% length of the whole video file, but of course they are each shorter now uh, accordingly. Same thing happened to the music file. Subtitles adjust automatically, and your voiceover file is the one that determines the length of the whole video. I'm just going to switch it back to 60 so that you can 60 something so that you can see that this is really a dynamic process and then adjust every single time. There you go. If you guys have any more questions about this, uh, post in the comments, in the replies. And uh, I hope this helps you and solves your issues. And now your videos that you're auto creating in your um, NNA, N8N workflow will always be perfect length. So they're not too short and they're not too long. Thanks so much for watching.